गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स साइरा लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद मैथ्स वन ऑनलाइन टीचिंग सेशन वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद चैप्टर फाइव दैट इज लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स एंड फिनिश्ड विद प्रैक्टिस सेट 5.1 पॉइंट वन टूडे आई बी कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर ओके सो लेट्स सी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स now looking at this only half of you must be aware that word problems means it is difficult now i will be giving you proper instructions and in fact proper uh, you can say hint or clue to remember how word problems has to be done and at the end of this session i assure you that you will find it very easy right so let's see whenever we are solving word problems what are the important steps to remember whether it is linear what you are learning in this chapter or quadratic which you will be learning in 10th standard these are the steps that will be common what are the steps to make proper assumption using any of the two variables now this is linear equation in two variables so any of the two variables you use x y a b z w whatever and make proper assumptions that should always be your first step then from the given information you have to read the question properly word problem part by part you have to read and then frame two equations in terms of the variables whichever variable you are using in those variables you have to frame two equations and last step is of course solve the equation now i have taught you till now two methods of solving simultaneous linear equation which were they elimination method and substitution method you can use any method in exam whichever you find easy and solve it okay so these are the important steps to remember now i am giving you keywords to remember for word problems now what are they whenever words like sum is used in a word problem it indicates that you have to add it difference means subtract whenever ratio ratio between the two numbers is 3 is to 5 if of course ratio means division product means multiplication when it is told like hence Three years hence the age will be correct. Three years hence the cost of the motorcycle will be hence is always plus. Four years ago the age was ago means minus. Like this you remember this symbols and the words which will be used. And of course times means multiplication. Few I have not written here like twice, thrice. That I hope you know. Twice means two times. Two into thrice means three times and so on. Okay. so which are the keywords to remember sum means plus difference minus ratio division product multiplication hence plus ago minus and times means multiplication now with the help of all this let us start with practice set 5.2 first sum okay i am reading the question for you in an envelope there are some 5 rupee note and some 10 rupee note Total amount of these notes together is rupees three fifty. Number of rupees five notes are less than ten by twice the number of rupees ten rupee note. Okay, find the number of five rupee note and ten rupee note. Now I just read the question once. Let us go back to the last part of the sum. What is the last part? Find the number of five rupee note and number of ten rupee note. Now. always the sum the assumption just should start from the last part what they are telling us number of 5 rupee and number of 10 rupee so i will start my sum with proper assumption as let the number of 5 rupee note be x and number of 10 rupee note be y that is the first step of proper assumption correct now before i start with the sum i want you to understand one example suppose you have 5 a uh, 10 rupees note with you correct 5 10 rupees note what will be the amount with you it is 5 10 rupees note means 10 10 10 10 and 10 5 10 za 50 rupees with you correct that is a concept that is used here number of 5 rupee note is how many x so amount with 5 rupee note will be what 5 into x yes or no so this is the amount with 5 rupee note number of 10 rupee note is how many y Correct. So amount here will be how much? Ten y. So total amount will be what with this five and ten rupee note? 
it should be 5x plus 10y. I hope you are understanding this. That number of i rupee note is x, so amount will be 5x. Number of 10 rupee note is y, so amount will be 10y. And look at this first condition. Total amount is 350. It means that this 5x plus 10y is nothing but the total amount which is given as 350 here. So this is nothing but my first equation. What? 5x plus 10y is equal to 350. Okay? So in this way, the first equation can be obtained. Now let us read the question further again. Number of 5 rupee note are less by 10. That 5 rupee note is less by 10. And how many 5 rupee note I had? X. This 5 rupee note is less by 10. Then what? Then twice the number of 10 rupee note. What is 10 rupee note? Y. So twice will be 2 into, twice will be 2 into y. Yes or no? See, number of 10 rupee note is y. So twice the number they want, twice they have given here. So it will be 2 into y. So how to frame the equation now? Number of 5 rupee note is x that I have written. It is 10 less, less means minus. So minus 10. From where to minus? Less than 10 by twice the number of 10 rupees note. So 2 into y from there I have to minus 10. Correct? So the second equation will be x is equal to 2y minus 10. I hope you have understood this. See how it is. Number of 5 rupee note are less by 10. So number of 5 rupee note was x. They are less by 10 so minus 10. But from where to minus for that they have given then twice the number of 10 rupees note. 10 rupees note is y. Twice the number will be 2y. So this is the way the second equation can be framed. That is x is equal to 2y minus 10. Now what? Now your choice equation 1 and 2 you have in front of you. Either you shift it here. That it will become minus 2y. Then you equate and simplify. Or easier than that is directly x is equal to 2y minus 10 can be substituted in equation number 1. And this sum can be solved by substitution method. So, I am going to use substitution method. Right? Okay. So, further, these are my two equations. Which are those two equations? The first one was 5x plus 10y is equal to 350. And second was x, minus, x is equal to 2y minus 10. So, as I have told you, I am going to use substitution method. Substitute x is equal to 2y minus 10 in equation number 1. Now, this is equation number 1. In the place of x, I will be writing 2y minus 10. So, see here. 5 into 2y minus 10. How do we get that? In place of x, I have substituted this value. 2x minus 10. Okay. So, plus 10y is equal to 350. Now, what? Let us open the bracket here. 5 into 2y is nothing but 10y. 5 into minus 10. Minus 50. Plus 10y as it is, is equal to 350. So, this is the way I am opening the bracket in this way. Now, 10y plus 10y can be added. How much? 20y. Minus 50 as it is, is equal to 350. Then, shift this minus 50 to this side. It will become plus 50. So, 350 plus 50 is nothing but 400. 20y is equal to 400. So, y will be equal to 400 upon 20. So, value of y we are getting as 20. Put a box to it. One of the variable we have got here, y is equal to 20. Okay. Then, I need the value of x. So, what? Substitute this y is equal to 20 in equation number 2. I have told you first also, whichever equation you find easy, there you try to substitute in this equation towards this. So, better I substitute here. So, see, 2y minus 10. In place of y, I will be writing 20. So, 2 into 20 minus 10. 2 into 20 is nothing but 40. 40 minus 10, that is 30. So, we have got x is equal to 30. Correct? So, x was what? Number of 5 rupee note. y was number of 10 rupee note. So, our final answer should be, there are 30 notes of rupees 5 and 20 notes of rupees 10. So, this should be the final answer. Final answer always carries marks. So, have the habit of writing final answer.
I hope this sum is understood to you. Yes. Okay. Let us move to the second sum. The second sum is the denominator of a fraction. Okay. One minute. The denominator of a fraction is one less than twice its numerator. If one is added to the numerator and denominator respectively, the ratio of numerator to denominator is three is to five. Find the fraction. Now, first thing is from where to assume, what to assume. Find the fraction. I hope you know that in fraction there are two quantities, two things. In fact, numerator and denominator. So our first step is proper assumption. That is, numerator be x, denominator be y. This is what I told you. From the last part of the sum, you will always get the assumption part. So numerator of the fraction be x and denominator of the fraction be y. Okay. Now let us read the first part. The denominator of a fraction is one less than twice the numerator. Again, I am reading. Denominator is one less. Right? What is the denominator here? Y. So y is one less so minus one. But from where I have to subtract? From twice its numerator. So numerator is x. Twice will be two x. So what we get here? Y is equal to two x minus one. I hope you are understanding it. Denominator is one less than twice its numerator. Y is equal to two x minus one. That is equation number one. Then, if one is added to numerator and denominator respectively, only this much part of the sum I am reading. One is added to numerator and denominator. So what we will get? Numerator was x, right? I am adding one to it. It will become x plus one. Denominator was y. I am adding one to it. It will become y plus one. So when both one are added to both numerator and denominator, what is given? The ratio will become three is to five. So I hope you are understanding how to frame the equation. That x one is added. X plus one, y plus one. If I am taking the ratio of it, the ratio will be what? Three is to five. See here. X plus one. Upon y plus one is nothing but three upon five. Correct? Then what? How to simplify this? Cross multiply. Five into x plus one is equal to three into y plus one. Then open the bracket. Five into x is five x. Five into one is five is equal to three y plus three. Then shift this three y this side. It will become minus three y. And plus five to the other side. It will become minus five. So five x minus three y is equal to minus two. What is this? This is our equation number two. Now here is our equation number one. What we will do is substitute y is equal to two x minus one in this equation number two. Okay. So let's see. After substitution, what do I get? This sum also we are doing by substitution method. So let's substitute. Y is equal to two x minus one. I have to substitute in this equation number two, right? So five x minus three. In place of y, what I will write? Two x minus one is equal to minus two. Again, open the bracket. What we will get? Minus six x minus three into minus one is what? Plus three, right? Is equal to minus two. Now five x minus six x. Answer is one, but six is a greater number with negative sign, so we will get it as Minus x, right? And this plus three can be shifted here. It will become minus three. So minus two minus three is nothing but minus five. Both the side. See minus x is equal to minus five. Both the side. I can cancel the minus sign. X is equal to five. With this, we have got value of one of the variable that x is equal to five. Correct? Now what? Let us substitute this. X is equal to five. In equation number one, now x was five, which I am going to substitute in equation one. Equation one was y is equal to two x minus one, so x is five. Two into five is ten. Ten minus one that is nine. So automatically we are getting y is equal to nine. Correct? X is five, y is nine. These are not the things that were asked. Question asked was find the required fraction, and fraction is always numerator. Upon denominator, numerator we have got five, denominator we have got nine. 
so what will be the required fraction required fraction will be 5 upon 9 i hope you have understood all the steps of the sum part by part read the question try to frame and any method which you find easy you solve by that method okay let us come to the third sum it is easier than the previous two sums let us read it the sum of ages of priyanka and deepika is 34 years priyanka is elder to deepika by 6 years then find their today's age the last part again find their today's age today's age means present age so i am going to start from there who are the two ones two things or two people about whom they are talking they are talking about age of priyanka and age of deepika so let us start our sum from there let today's age of priyanka be x while that of deepika be y okay that is our first step of assumption read the first part sum as i have told you sum means plus sum of their ages is how much 34 so x plus y is 34 correct now priyanka is elder than deepika by 6 years priyanka is x deepika is y and she is elder i hope you know elder and younger correct elder means that the difference between their ages is 6 so x minus y is equal to 6 that is equation number 2 now in this i have got two simple equations which can be added correct i am not using substitution method here why because see this when i add this plus y and minus y will get cancelled so that is the reason we are going to use a method of elimination not substitution so adding equation number 1 and 2 what we will get x plus y is equal to 34 x minus y is equal to 6 when i add plus y and minus y will get cancelled x and x is 2x 2x is equal to 34 plus 6 is 40 shift this to this side 40 upon 2 so how much 20 one part of the answer is here x is equal to 20 then what is left to get y substitute x 20 x is equal to 20 in equation number 1 x plus y is equal to 34 so in place of x we will write 20 yes and then plus y is equal to 34 shift this 20 to the other side it will become minus and we will get the value of the variable y y is equal to 14 in this way this easy sum can be done so final answer x was priyanka's age y was deepika's age so today's age of priyanka is 20 years and that of deepika is 14 years with this we come to an end of the sums which i wanted to teach you today that is practice set 5.2 three sums only i have done today okay i want you to practice it very nicely i hope you have understood everything thank you